first, uh, being the first stand up on tonight, I thought I'd uh, I've written a little snazzy uh, intro, so I'm going to kick off with that. Are you ready to enter the Lollosphere? <laughs> right, we always sound very ready. And I should, I should warn you that this giggle train goes at naught to lafty in three minutes. <laughs> do you understand? Right, folks, this bit I'm about to do in the actual show is ten minutes long. So, <laughs> let's see how far we get. I'm guessing about three and a half minutes of it. Um, it's been a big year for Robbins. Uh, it's been an exciting year. It was meant to be the big year, right? Uh, because, get this dudes, I got asked to be on a television panel show. What time is it? Excitement o'clock. Um, and uh, I was very excited, because I'd never been on like, telly before, and I was thinking, it's all gonna kick off, so I was doing all my notes and writing all my jokes and stuff. And then, two days, before it was due to be filmed, I got a call from the lady to say I'd been replaced. Aww. And I was very upset. Uh, I didn't show her that, though. And I said to her, what's the problem? What did I do wrong? She said, you didn't do anything wrong, John. We just needed someone with a bit more backstory, right? So that the people, the audience know a bit better. And I thought, that's fair enough. Not many people know who I am. I said, just out of interest, who was it that you replaced me with? And she said, we've replaced you with Amy Childs from The Only Way is Essex. <laughs> now then, not a wrist slasher yet, because I didn't actually know who Amy Childs was. Right? I was this kind of like, sort of like pop culture white noise. I just avoided it. So I thought, well, I'll have a check on the internet to see who this mistress of the arts is. <laughs> and, um, I went on Wikipedia and I was checked, clicked on the biography section. I thought well, it's going to be all about her humanitarian work, about her work as a UN negotiator. And all it said was, was one sentence, it just said, Amy Childs is responsible for bringing the word vajazzle to public attention. Right? Now then, at this point, I didn't know what vajazzle meant. So I performed another internet search, which let me tell you was far more vivid. <laughs> I had to turn safe search from moderate to off. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a safe search, right? Turns out the internet's a pretty fruity place without the safe search. Even searching for normal things is pretty fruity, you know? Without safe search, Scatman Johns does some pretty dodgy stuff towards the end of his career. <laughs> Turns out, the vajazzle is when the lady, i.e., deems it appropriate to update her lady zone with trinkets and treasures and pasta shapes in order to attract the dude of the species, i.e. Now, Maybe it's just a generational thing, ladies and gentlemen. I've just turned 30, maybe I'm feeling my age, but I come from a time whereby if you were lucky enough, what's your name, sir? Tom, lucky enough to see a vahoo-ha, live, voluntary, live, and complaints about its appearance were the last thing on your mind. Never in all my years have I been face to face, live, with a Verklinkerhofen, Hello, hello, and thought, hmm, oh, it's a bit drab. It wouldn't cross my mind to stare at a lady hut that lucky to see it live voluntary and think, hmm, oh, do you know what that leads, love? Zhuzh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. You can see the rest uh, of that routine uh, in Edinburgh. You've been lovely, everyone. Bye bye!